Okay, welcome everybody to our first session of the 2015 Virtual Souls. We will not be doing an on-site location visit, but um, we'll have a series of these web WebExes and panels and question discussions. So one is Professional Development at SAE. The agenda today is um, we'll kind of do a little bit of an introduction from everybody on the phone. I will host that live in the new local activity specialist taking over for Nicole Iredo. <coughs> uh, Grace Waterbrink and Chrisaya Melnick on the phone from our SAE professional development staff. So if anybody could just take a moment on the phone and say what section you're from and your name. So I'll jump in and go first. I, I'm Dan Carlack and I'm the uh, the chairman for the Chicago section of SAE, although uh, I am the outgoing chairman, Tom Chilstick will be their new uh, chairman starting January 1st. Barat Rajkata, I am uh, one of the officers in the Fort uh, yeah. After a full wing, just joined, we're just kind of going through and giving a little bit of an introduction of who we are and what section we are from. Hi, my name is uh, Kathy. I'm from the SAE Central Ontario section. <coughs> Hello? <coughs> Hello? Okay, but we've kind of gotten everybody on the phone. I'll go ahead and slide. So Rachel is from our professional development staff at SA International and go ahead, Rachel. Hi everybody, can you guys hear me okay? Yep, yep. Okay. Um, we're here today to talk about um, a couple things in the professional development group, and I'm going to start off just saying why your section should partner with SAE Professional Development. Um, we're going to talk about how you can bring quality education directly to your members. Um, so we like to talk about bringing a, a professional development program directly to your geographic location. So bringing training to your members um, to just in time, so train just when you need it, right where you guys are at. Uh, so we'll talk about how this can be considered um, part of a section meeting, or if you're having another section event, you can kind of tag this along with it. And we do have some success stories, so this isn't a brand new idea. And I heard Kathy on the phone, so I might jump in and ask Kathy to share some with us here. But um, we've had a couple of these programs. We had a pilot program with the uh, SAE Oregon section back in June of 2012. And we actually kicked this off with a program called the Fundamentals of Heavy Truck Dynamics. And it was actually a sellout program with uh, 30 attendees. And last year we had two programs. The uh, SAE Oregon section came back again and said they're interested in having another program. And so we did a program on accelerated test methods and we had 15 attendees. And this is when the Central Ontario section decided they wanted to try a program as well. And they did a program on design reviews for effective product development for 10 attendees. So, Kathy, I don't know. Do you want to share um, how that how you felt that program went? Um, I, can you hear me? Yes. 
Uh, I think the program went really well. I mean, we got a lot of support from you guys. Uh, so uh, the amount of from our end was very minimal to uh, set up the program. I mean, uh, set up the event, and uh, you guys did everything from the registration, the end registrations, to ensuring that the participants came uh, to the venue, and, and uh, we just took care of the execution part. But um, it was it was really good. Thank you, Kathy. Sorry to put you on the spot, but I figured we would go ahead and reach out to you, so we're glad to hear you had a good experience. No problem. We can click to the next slide. In case you're not familiar with what our professional development department does, uh, we actually have over 175 seminars and we had education and training in a multitude of technical areas. So our seminars are led by expert instructors who have many years of experience in the automotive, commercial vehicle, and aerospace industries. And we like to say that our educational courses provide the new knowledge and skills necessary for today's engineering professionals to succeed. Um, our courses are very interactive and they encourage skill development and problem solving. See here, we get um, we like to pride ourselves on the fact that they're engineers teaching engineers, and we like to incorporate a lot of hands-on activities, and then range from anything by um, you know passing parts from the class, um, solution-based case studies, watch videos, um, role-playing, just about anything you can imagine. Um, the courses range from one to three days in length. Each seminar includes comprehensive course materials to assist the learner in implementing the knowledge gained in the course, and those are takeaway materials that each learner can bring home with them. And all our courses are actually approved for continuing education unit credits. Um, some of them you'll see are um, approved for PH hours there, and also ACTAR CEUs, which are um, for folks that are you know, specific line of work in engineering there. Go ahead and move to the next slide. This is that folks may not be aware of, and uh, Chrissia actually might get into this a little further in her presentation, is that some of our courses can actually go together in one of our multiple course certificate programs. And as it says here, this is a package of four to six courses that must be completed. So it's a bundle of requested in elective courses that fall within a specific content area or a technical discipline. So right now, we have a number of these certificate programs that range from anything um, from the example given here, which is a diesel technology certificate program. We also have one on general management and leadership, um, product engineering tools and methods, personal and legal issues, and a few others. And so some of these courses that a section might be thinking of putting on, um, if you do a couple of these, as I mentioned here, if you offered a couple programs a year, you know, your section members could actually complete one of these certificate programs in just two to three years. Um, the takeaways, you know, some folks say, what am I going to get out of this? Um, actually provide an online learning assessment um, for each course. So that proves everyone needs to learn objectives for the course. So when the program's over, you send an email from us to go in and take this online course. And if you get a 70% or higher, that basically shows that you've met the learning objectives for the course. And that all goes into getting this um, certificate. So at the end of this program, once you meet all the requirements, you're able to get a really nice printed framed certificate showing that this is just something that you can add to your professional resume. You can click to the next slide. So I mentioned, you know, a lot of people think that this is going to be a huge barrier. We really appreciate everything that all of the volunteers, you know, working for our sections do at SAE. And I know a lot of people think, well, this is a really great idea, but I can't possibly take on anything else. But Kathy mentioned, you know, we really did everything for you. And so we're going to talk about, you know, what does SAE really provide? You know, what is the section really going to have to do? 
So as you mentioned here, you know, we are really going to do the bulk of the work here. We're going to schedule the seminar. You know, once we work with you and decide what technology and instructor that you might be interested in and what time of the year, we'll organize all of that with the instructor and we'll get the course you know, uploaded on the website. And, you know, we'll continue to work with the instructor and get them contracted and get the dates all solidified. We'll promote the program for you uh, one time through our corporate marketing group here via email. And we'll actually provide a marketing toolkit for you as a session to pr promote the program. And you may ask, what's involved in that marketing toolkit? Um, our corporate marketing group here actually produces um, posters, so we'll mail you actual posters that you can have. We also um, put together some nice electronic flyers, so some half-page and some whole-page flyers. We work with our um, course, um, press release group here. We put together some press releases for you, and we also provide you with some email banners, a couple different type of banners that you can use to promote the program. So it's a really nice toolkit for you to use. And then as the you know as the weeks go on and it gets closer to the seminar date. We register the attendees and collect all the seminar fees. Um, and then, you know, once we decide the course is going to be a go that we have enough people to attend, we actually um, produce the handouts and ship all all the program materials that are needed to run the seminar to your location and take care of ordering any, you know, food and beverage that's going to be needed and making sure that arrives on time. And then finally, you know, we cover the cost of uh, the instructor and the instructor's travel expenses. Head to the next slide. So you might be asking, well, what am I going to have to do? So I ask that you designate, you know, one individual that we can work with who's going to serve as like an on-site contact person. <laughs> and I will ask that you identify a venue that can be, you know, that has a room for 20 to 30 participants. And so we'll wonder, you know, what type of room? Do you have to have a special training room? So we say, no, you know, you can have a company meeting room, an official training room. Um, we've used community colleges. We've done that with the uh, Central Ontario section. You can use like a public library, a community center, just thing that's going to be conducive to, um, you know, a training class for 20 to 30 people. And we provide um, audiovisual equipment. And really for most of our classes, that just means an LCD projector and a screen you know, or a white wall that we can project on. Um, we ask that you promote and market the event at least three times. So if you were, I said that we will promote it one time from our corporate office, but with that marketing toolkit that we supply you with, we ask that you promote it to your section members at least three times. And then the seminar starts, we ask that that individual provide on-site support at the start of the program, and that just simply means that you get the instructor up and running, make sure all the materials are set, and there, you know, the program kicks off successfully. And then a lot of people wonder, you know, how many people do you have to have to make sure that this program is going to run? And so we, we determined that at least three weeks before the seminar starts that we need to have eight people to be able to successfully cover our costs and run the course. Next slide. <coughs> There's some incentives for a section who is willing to host one of these programs, and it's determined by the length of program that you decide on. So again, I mentioned earlier that the programs go anywhere between one, two, and three days, and it also is determined by the number of attendees that you attract to um, take the program. So right you'll see that, um, and I won't read through the whole thing to bore you here, but the, the first example is that a section can get up to $100 um, per attendee for one day class. So the first 10 people, they would get $50 each. Between 11 and 15 people, they would get $75 each. And for 16 and more people, they would get $100 each. And so you'll see the next two bullet points talk about a two day class and a three class, and the numbers only go up from there. Um, what we simply do is when the seminar is over, we cut uh, the section a check, and the sections can use that check for basically whatever they want to, to do. They can use it for a future professional development program, or they can just use it for um, you know, any type of section event 
that they choose. And the section that I mentioned up front, the Oregon and Central Ontario sections that have these programs with us really did receive some nice checks as incentives for holding those programs. Um, see that we do offer one free seat in the seminar, and that usually goes to the individual who's serving as the on-site support. And people say, you know, we have a lot of students in the section who are interested in attending these programs. So as the first 15 seats are filled, we allow students to attend at a very reduced um, rate. It's $60 per day, and we sit in here plus the cost of text or software. All of our classes do involve these costs. Some of the classes do involve um, a textbook charge or um, a software charge, and then we do have to charge that on top of the $60 per day just to cover our, our costs. Go ahead and go to the next slide. So I have to provide you guys with an example. So if you <coughs> on a two-day seminar, and it was a sellout, again, with 30 attendees, you would see that the section would get $1,000 for the first 10 attendees, and an additional $750 through 15th attendees, and an additional $3,000 for the 16th through 30th attendee, so the total amount that would go to the section would be close to $5,000. It would be $4,750. And so that's just simply how you can figure out an example of what we gained as an incentive for the section for a program like this. Okay. You can go to the next slide. So I know that people have expressed to me as I've attended Souls over the last few years that you know, any other discounts that we can possibly get for section members. So we do have a discount page on our website. I mentioned some of the discounts right here. Um, there are member discounts. So we give um, discounts off of our seminars for classic member, premium, and elite member, which is 10, 15, and 20 percent off. We have multiple registration discounts. And this is if um, individuals register at the same time from this company for the same program. So for a seminar, if three people register at the same time for the same seminar, they would all get 10% off. Do you get a student discount? You'll see the student discount is um, a little cheaper than what we just talked about. Uh, we have a faculty discount. So if a faculty member is interested in attending a seminar, they can gain 50% off. And we offer a senior discount program as well. So anyone 62 years or older would also get half off. You can go ahead and click to the next slide. We also start offering a frequent learning program discount, and I don't think um, a lot of people are aware of this yet. Uh, we're trying to get people to come back and take another program with us. So we found a lot of people take one program during the year, but it's a challenge to get them to come back and take maybe two or three programs in the same year. So to give you an additional 20% of your membership level for taking two or more courses in a rolling 12-month calendar year. So what that means is if a section would offer one program, you know, this October, as long as they offered another program by next October, members would get, you know, additional 20% off. Um, unfortunately, right now, we don't have a mechanism to do that on the website, so we have to have those folks register by phone. Um, there are a couple of restrictions on courses, such as our driving courses, and that, that do hold additional fees. This is a great discount. So if you're already getting a membership level discount, such so as a classic member, this would be an additional 20% off of that. We go into um, Chrissio's program here. So I don't know if let Allison decide if you want to stop and ask questions now or hold questions until the end. We're going to hold all questions to the end, but um, now I'd like to introduce Chrisea, who's also part of our professional development group at AE as well. Thanks, Anderson. Hello, my name is Chrisea Melnick, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit this morning about corporate learning in our professional development department. What is cor corporate learning? It is when we bring the training to you in-house to your company. It adds a customized approach to meet your specific business needs. There are six main advantages to bringing the corporate learning training into your company. First is variety. We have over 150 courses that we can adapt to your company's specific needs. 
The second advantage is customization. If we have a specific topic or the course content doesn't meet your requirements, we can create a customized training program for you. The third advantage is quality. Our training is designed by engineers for engineers. All of the courses create a technical review process and ensures a productive training for your company. Fourth advantage of SAE's corporate learning is convenience. We have all of the administrative details for you. We do scheduling of the program, we provide the course materials, and we do wrap up of the course for you. Corporate learning solutions are also cost effective. Your company will save time and money. Your staff doesn't have to travel, so you will save money on travel costs and you will save on travel time. The last advantage is timeliness. We provide training on the newest and most current information. Next slide, please. What do we include with a corporate learning solutions contract? First thing is we do all of the administrative coordination for you. We provide the instructor, we provide the training materials. All you need to provide is the facility. And as Rachel said, it is just a room that the instructor can teach in. So do customized training. It can be tailored to relate directly to your company's business, and it will use examples from your day-to-day -day operations. A lot of instructors will incorporate drawings you use and processes that you use in your day-to-day -day business. We also provide continuing education units. Attendees must pass an online learning assessment, and then one CEU is awarded for every 10 classroom contact hours. Next please. So what determines the cost of a corporate learning solutions program? The big thing is the length of the training. We have trainings that are as short as half a day, as long as three days. The thing that determines the cost are the handout materials. Some of our trainings include books and standards, and some ship parts to your facility for the instructor to use, and all of these materials affect the cost of the training. The next fact that determines the cost is the number of attendees. We typically charge a base fee, and then we increase, you increase the number of attendees. In to the base course fee, the company is also responsible for the cost of the instructor travel to their facility. Next, please. Okay, it runs through a little bit about professional development and more in depth of how your section can be involved. I'm going to open the floor up to any questions from the section officer leaders or uh, this is Dan, and I've got a question about uh, the corporate meeting that was presentation that was just given. You say it's cost effective. Can, mm -hmm. can, can, you, can you give some examples, like actual hard numbers, like uh, an example uh, in 2014 or, or this past year, 2013? Uh, how many of these did you do? For example, like in 2013, just a ballpark figure. Okay, ballpark figure. We probably had about 100 corporate house trainings in 2013. Oh my God, that's great. That's terrific. And, and again, when you say cost effective, uh, just roughly again, roughly, uh, how much does it want? How much does it typically wind up? Costing, and you know, like an individual who participated in one of these events, is it you know, a few hundred dollars, or a few thousand dollars? Really, very depend on the class that the company brings in and how much customization and the materials. That's a really hard number to ballpark, but it, we definitely try and make it as cost effective as possible for the company to bring in the instructor. Great, thank you. You're welcome. couple of people that couldn't be on. Um, somebody actually did send me a question that said, how do they begin to get involved with this? Do they contact you directly or do they go through the website? What What are the first steps? Thanks, Rachel. They can honestly contact me for a section program and they can contact um, Chrissia directly for um, a corporate learning program. Or Chrissy, I don't know if you want to share the email address for corporate learning. 
And the email address for corporate learning is corplearn, C-O-R-P-L-E-A-R-N, at A-E dot O-R-G. Do we have other questions from the callers on the phone? Yeah, sorry, this is Dan. Uh, just one real quick follow-up question. Um, are, are, were any of these corporate learning options uh, held, for example, like in the evening, like after working hours or, or perhaps on a Saturday, or are they always like during the week, Monday through Friday, during regular working hours? That's a great question. Most companies like to have them during the day, during your regular work hours, but we recently did a program, it was a three-day program, and the company did not want to pull everyone out of the office for three days, so we did it on a Thursday through Saturday, and the instructor was willing to accommodate that for the company. Great, Great. thank you. Okay, don't have any more questions from the phone. Anybody else? <clears throat> well, I want to thank everybody for participating today. And again, we're going to have this recording set up in our officer toolbox. And if anybody needs more information or how to get in touch with PD, please let me know. And I absolutely get that for you. And I'd really like to thank Ray and Christia for helping us today. So thank you very much for, for spending time with us. Okay. Oh.